Okay, so today we'll be learning about the multivibrator circuitry, okay? It's a multivibrator is a circuit that can between the two digital levels on the continued free running basic or on demand from external trigger source. Basic, there are three types of multivibrator. Okay, first thing, the buy stable. It triggers from one of the two digital state. So basically that's just a flip flop, okay? The second thing will be as stable in a free running oscillator that alternate between two digital level at a specific frequency and duty cycle. And the last one, there will be a mono stable, also known at the one shot, provide a single output port of a specific time length when it is triggered from an external source. Okay, now we're talking about capacitor first. Capacitor jack and the D jack red. You get the function for the capacitor jacket. Delta VC equal E times one minus E to the power of minus D over RC. Okay, Delta VC change in the capacitor voltage over a period of time. E, that the voltage different between the initial voltage on the capacitor and the total voltage that is it trying to reach. It's just a natural log, 2.718. D, the time that capacitor is allowed to charge it. R, resistance in ohm. And C, will be capacitance in the farad. Okay, so we already learning about the capacitor. They can be charging or they can be uh, discharging. Hey, Mr. Pham, I don't want to mess up stuff, or maybe it's something I missed. Is it, Was there a handout for this? Because I, I, maybe I missed it. Yeah, it came out in the, that's already in the handout. Okay, you I'll look it. again, I'll look again. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, make sure everyone is supposed to get the, uh, download that handout. Spring 2021. Okay, you understand now. Um, in the past, we already learned it. Capacitor jack and discharge This is the time and that should be VC, and you're already learning this one. Okay, so basically, the capacitor will be charging, okay? And you understand the time constant. What is the time constant? Uh, 
Now, RC. That's the time take to chart up to. Now, so this time. Turn on your microphone. Time take to charge or discharge the capacitor. Not complete yet. Cal is RC. It's Cal is R times C. It's, it's, okay. Okay. But it's, it's okay. the time for the capacitor charge to 63% of its final charge. Perfect. That means the time for the capacitor charge up to 63.2%. Okay. That is a time constant. But that in the path, now we go in more detail. And you get the, the equation, delta Vc equal A times one minus, okay, A power minus T over RC. So when you're looking for the formula, then you have to know what is the delta C. That means the voltage charging or discharging. What is the E? E, that means the different time, different voltage, okay? Between the initial voltage on the capacitor and the voltage capacitor try to reach, okay? And you know T is just a time RC. You already know RC, okay? So now you see the circuitry. They get three positions. One, two, three, and a switch. They can move from to one or they can move to three. So, example one the capacitor in the figure one initially discharge. Okay, initially discharge, that means VC equals zero. They want to know, they determine the voltage on the capacitor, 0 0.5 millisecond, okay? After the switch is moved from position two to position one. So now they want to calculate the delta Vc you try to apply that formula and calculate it to see you can get the answer will be 3.27 volt. You already know they get a T equal three zero point five millisecond. Okay, so now RC, you already know R ten kilo ohm, C zero point zero forty seven microsecond. Only thing you know what E. Do you know what E equal? I'd say MC squared, but I know that's wrong. What E equal? Potential? No, you have to know the definition for E. E is the voltage, okay? On the capacitor, the difference between initial voltage and the voltage try to reach. So it's five. Oh, five. Okay, now, what the initial voltage? Zero. Zero. That's what I say. They say initially discharge. Okay? The zero. So if the 
if they move the switch in here, what the voltage they try to rate? Five. They try to rate will be five volt. So it will be the difference between the voltage try to rate and the initial voltage. That's why they equal five. Then now you can substitute value into that formula, delta VC, and do your calculation to see if we can get 3.27 volt. And E is two point what two point seven one, Mr. Fam? E let's see. Two point seven one eight. Yeah. Or uh, two point seven two. So and then that would be raised to the power of uh point five minus point five divided by the tau. Yes, I see. Anyone get that answer? Is it 3.27? Yes, correct. That's what they show you right here. Yeah, that's good. Normally, I think the best way you can do, okay, try to calculate separately. They first calculate the over. I see. Okay. Then you can put it in to 2 point, uh, let's see, uh, 2 point one two to the, the negative power. That's more easier to do it. 
don't substitute everything into one formula. Okay, so any question on the example number one? Okay, go to number two. The capacitor is initially discharged. Question is how long after the switch is moved from position two to pos position one, will it take for capacitor to reach three volt? So now the formula you will, will be using will be D, this formula. RC time log one over one minus delta V over E. Only thing is the question on this one you need to identify A. What is e equal? Three. Five. Five minus three. What is equal? Is it, is it five? Yeah. Initial is zero. Try to reach five. So whoever gets the 0 0.431 millisecond, that is the answer. But wh why do we have to use five, Mr. Fan, if the question is to reach three volts? No, 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 no. The definition for E, that means the difference between the initial voltage and the voltage try to reach. Three volt, that means they reach three volt, but they try to reach. If you keep, you keep the same connection for long time, then they will be rich five volt. That's what they try to reach. So is the is the final voltage? The five volts are is the final volt voltage. Right. That means if you connect for a long time or forever. Okay. Okay. Got it. Will Thank you. To five. Okay. Okay. The thing is three volt. That means the delta V. That's the voltage they reach it.
Get it? The answer zero point four three millisecond. Did anyone get the answer? Or you want me to do your, cal your calculation? Which answer do you need for now, three? Let's see, T equal. Okay. I see lock. One minus delta VC. over E. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, can go. Mr. Pham, you forgot the land part. Mr. Fan, it's land of 0 0.4. You're missing the land part. 0 0.4? Yeah, it's a land of 0 0.4. Let's see. It's RC land of the bracket. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Thank you. That will be locked. Hey, Mike, so the natural log is all that stuff in parentheses, right? Yeah. Yes.
Okay, that will be 0 0.43 millisecond. Okay, now go to example three. The capital in its own chart, you want vote. How long after the Swiss, it moved to position two to position one, will it take for capital to reach three vote? Still using the formula T equal RC log one over one minus delta V E. Only thing we need to know what E equal. E would be a four. Five, it one. needs all that at one volt. So we're going from one to three. One, one to five. This is for E, not Delta I'm D. talking about E. E means the difference between the initial voltage and the voltage capacitor try to rate, to rectify volt. Initial voltage is one volt. That's why you get four volt. Hey, Mr. Pham, can you just say that one more time? Okay, I'm talking about E. Right. E is the different voltage between the initial voltage and the voltage capacitor try to reach. You understand now initial the charge to one volt. and try to rate mean five volt. So E will be equal to four volt. And also you need to know in this case, what delta V C equal. What the delta V C equal? Three volt? Three minus one. They initial jack already one volt. And now they read three. So basically they charging only two volt. Hey, Mr. Pham, in the yeah. formula, um, one of them you got delta VC, and then in the other one, you got just plain delta V. Is there a difference? Delta VC. Oh, it's supposed to be the second one where it's got the time, it's supposed to be delta VC? Exactly. Okay, you're just missing the C then. Okay. Okay, no, I was just wondering. Thank you. We'll go right there. Okay, so it's delta VC. The answer will be 0 0.326. Anyone get that? Basically, try to understand to that to formula. And the key point will be delta VC. That means the voltage charging or discharging on the capacitor. And also E.
anyone get that answer? Hey, Mr. Fam, I know, I know you said, but I just want to confirm it in my mind. So looking at the equation at E equal five minus one, the one is the initial, correct? All right. Okay, and then in looking at the other one, delta V, delta VC equal three minus one, the one is the initial. Exactly. Okay. So the initial, they already get a one. Mm -hmm. So now they got to three. Basically, mm -hmm. delta VC only two volt. Mm -hmm. I got that same answer, 0 0.336. You got that? Yes. Oh, pretty good. So in order to do that kind of the problem, when you get the formula, try to understand, okay? For what is a delta VC or what is a E? So normally, if you are writing a, a calculation program, then you just tell the computer calculate it for you. You don't have to even your calculator. Okay, any question regarding to example one, two, and three? Okay, if it's not, we can go to next one. That's supposed to be example five, not four. Okay, the capacitor initial charge to four point two volt. How long after switch it moved from position two to position three? Okay, now they move to position three. Move to here. Okay. Will it take for capacitor to drop to 1.5 volt? So, same formula, RC log one over one minus delta VC over E. So I want to know what E and what the delta VC. Was E 4.2? You mean 4.2? Right. Perfect. E needs or wanted E 4.2 volt. And what did a wanted capacitor try to reach? Zero. Zero. You understand it when you connect it to round, like exactly the same your car battery. If you turn on the light, forget to turn it off. Next day, I guarantee you get your battery to be empty. That is the, the wanted try to reach. Okay, the answer will be 0 0.484 milliseconds. Delta VC equals what? 
So really the key to this is uh, finding out what E is and what delta VC is, and then you, just put, then you just put it in the formula. Right. Only thing when you see the formula, you have to identify what E and the delta VC, the T is easy, has it already in the circuit. Did you get 0 0.484? Yes. Okay. So we go night. Okay, next will be as stable multi vibrator. How they call a free running oscillator. <clears throat> okay, uh, now I can tell you oscillator. You can go to buy the oscillator. However, if you buy the oscillator, they will be asking you what frequency you can say 10 kilohertz oscillator. Okay? When you get the oscillator, you connect power and drive, then you connect the output, you can get 10 kilohertz square wave. And the voltage level will be zero up to five. That means two digital level, zero or one. Okay. And now they will be build the oscillator. That's what they call R table or free running oscillator. In order to build it, they need a Smith single Smith trigger. The part number 74SC14. Okay. When the, the IC power is first turned on, VC equals zero. Okay. So V out will be equal five volt. Now, I'm telling you. When you just turn on the power, the voltage on the VC right here, capacitor, when you just turn it on, capacitor will be shorted to the right. So that's why you get a zero volt here. They're telling you, you get five volt here, okay? So when you get the five volt here, and now, you can get the current flowing this way to charging the capacitor, okay? And the voltage of the capacitor keep going up. When they going up to a logic of one at the input, then output will be inverted. That means will be a zero, okay? Then, you know, they will be, current will be flowing the other side. Capacitor will be discharged. So they say right here, when we see risk, the positive going threshold, we blur. That means the voltage will be high at the input here. Okay. Then the output will be low. The V out can to low 
and the real equal zero. Okay. The capacitor now will be discharged towards the zero volt when VC drop below negative going threshold VT minus. The output of the circuit can back to high. You can see right here. Okay. At the beginning, VL equal 5 volt. Okay. The thing is, they already got to 5 volt. Then, when they reach the upper trigger, that means input get up into the high level. Now the capacitor will be discharged. Okay? They will be discharged, discharged until the voltage at the input here get to the low level. Then output will be high. So they charge again. Keep charging, discharging. That's why the output will be a square wave. Okay? And the voltage will be either zero volt or five volt. And that is how they can build the oscillator. Okay? And now they say cast uh, and label for the waveform the Smith RC oscillator. They given the following specification for 74 SC14 high speed CMOS Smith trigger inverter VCC equal 5 volt V out high equal 5 volt and V out low equal 0 volt VT plus equal 2.75 volt can you understand what they say VT plus equal 2.75 what VT plus equal to 75 volt means to you That's the point when the V out would change over. Now, that means when the input rate two point seventy five, they will be going from zero to one. Okay. V T minus is one point sixty seven. That will, that will be tap you, okay? When the input wanted less than 1.67, then input now will be zero. So you understand on the TTL logic, any wanted less than 0 0.8, consider to be a logic zero. Any voltage greater than two, two volt, considered to be logic one. However, for this IC, any voltage equal to 0.75 volt or higher, they will be logic one. And any voltage equal 1.67 volt or less, they will be logic zero. So VT plus or VT minus just telling you that the level at the input of the circuit to make it to be high or low. Okay, and then they said calculate the time high, T high, time low, T low duty cycle and the frequency if r equal 10k and c equal 0 
Michael Farah. That means they want to get the time high right here. This is a time high. And this is a time low. Now, T high, what the formula? T high or T low, same thing formula. That means they want to know the time for the capacitor. Either time high, time low, using the same formula. So in here, they already given you uh, can get C 0 0.022 micro. Okay, delta VC and E, that's what you need to know. So time high, what E equal? So basically, they gave unto you uh, 1.67 here. And two point seventy five. Forty high. What is equal? Is it five minus 1.67? Perfect. A mean the different voltage between initial voltage and the voltage capacitor try to read. You can see right here, get the initial. Try to read, that means they try to read to the logic one. Five volt. So five minus one point six seven. Three point three three. Delta VC. Sam, real quick, you said the 1.67 is the initial? Right here. They, I'm talking about we calculate right here. Right? Yeah, but the and, one. Yeah, that's initial. Okay, initial. Okay, thank you. We're trying to read this by. And what is the delta VC? 2.75 minus 1.67. Perfect. 2.75 minus 1.67. One point away. So do do you doing a calculation if you get the high eighty six point two microsecond 
Let me look at that right end. Mr. Pham? Yeah. So are these uh, IC or circuits uh, used to create a clock in a circuit? What, what is the main uh, use for this kind of circuits? Oscillator. Okay. Uh, these oscillators are the same than a, that a clock, a, a crystal, or are different? Yeah. The same? Yeah. These, these are crystals, basically. Exactly. Okay. And uh, changing the capacitor value, basically, we're going to change the frequency of oscillation of the circuits. Exactly. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Wait, is that is that true? The, uh, a multivibrator doesn't necessarily have to have a crystal, right? Yeah, we don't deal with that. But they work in the same thing. You can see in the computer, they're using different. Okay, and it's just a simple circuitry so the student can understand the oscillator. Yeah, in, in, in a crystal, oscillator, crystal oscillator, the clock is provided right. by the crystal. They much, much better. Even they the same thing. Turn it on automatically. They give it out the uh, clock. So that's why you can see in the computer, are uh, in the circuitry board in the company, they need that the clock they not using that one, the circuit. Okay, so you get the T high, then now you need to calculate the T low. That means you pay on this part right here, that T low. And we know the T low. then you can get E and you can get Delta VC. The formula will be using the same. So for the kilo, what is e equal? Two point seven five minus zero. 
perfect. Joe seventy five. What Delta V C? Same two point seven five minus one point six seven. Joe seventy five. Minus one point six seven. Same thing, one point zero eight. Okay, so T high is supposed to be 86.2 microsecond. T low, 110 microsecond. Then now you can say they get a T high, 86. That will be the period T. So you need to calculate the period T will be equal to T high, blood T low. And after you get T, you can calculate the frequency one over T.
So anyone get the TI and the T low correct? Yes. Now, what is the duty cycle? Okay. If you want to understand duty cycle, okay, can you tell me what the duty cycle here? It is T, Captain. What the duty cycle for this signal? 50%. 50%, correct. 50 high and 50 low. Okay. And now you get how many? Okay, that the T high and the T low. So basically, I think you take a T high, divide to T high, plus T low, times 100%. So it's T high divided by T high plus low, right? Right, that means you get a T high duty cycle. So equal T high divide T times 100%. I think it's the high plus the low, that means T. So if you calculate the duty cycle, answer will be 43.9 percent. And frequency will be 5.1 kilo. Did not require too much on the calculation, just a very, very basic, okay? Sometimes you don't have to memorize the formula, but if you get the formula they given, you're able to do your calculation. Okay, up to that point, get any uh, question? Okay, if it's not, then I can uh, tell you a few things. First thing is, 
in order to complete the program, you have to learn the AC circuit that offer only in the summer. Okay. If you not take the AC in this summer or before you not took the DC, AC, that will be delayed your certification. The thing is you have to wait it until next summer. The thing is AC circuitry only teaching in the summer. Second thing, you are currently in tech two now. So in the summer, 2021, you will learn both. That means on tech two learning on the digital circuitry keep going. Okay, I try to make sure we done for this summer, then we done for the lecture for the digital circuitry. Okay, then all you already get did a C circuitry on this summer. Then on the fall, only thing what need to be done will be doing the left volt and also the digital lab then to be completed. The thing of this and this time, they cannot care about how many hours for take one or how many hours for take two. Only thing is you must be done AC circuitry, done for electronic, done for digital and also done for the lab for both, then we will be given out, given out the certificate for you. So that means for sure you will be done completely on the fall 2021. Hey, Mr. Pham. Yeah, if you get any confusion, any Question that bring it up. Hey, Mr. Pham. Yeah. Basically, what you're telling them is um, they have to come to school at least on one summer because you, you teach AC in the summer only. And if they miss the summer, then they're missing part of what they need to get the certificate. Well, correct. So they got to come at least one summer. If they keep missing the summer, then they're never going to get a certificate. Exactly. No many, we don't care how many hours they get. The thing a major semester will be fall and the spring. Fall will be open both electronic and digital. Spring, same thing open book, only AC, that will be a short semester taking for AC circuitry only. The thing I did which will be end on the spring 2021. You will be meeting on today, tomorrow, Wednesday, no Thursday, no Friday. The thing is, instructor need the meeting. Try to working how, what do they need? We have to do to reopen in the fall. We have to prepare from now. Like we have to move in the lab, Set it up the lab in order, you know, meet the requirement. A lot of work. Uh, 
and that the form you will be seeing me only one day a week for take one and one day a week for take two and the rat will be working in the lab Okay, any question? If it's not, then I can stop here, okay? Keep uh, moving to tomorrow. Okay, Sam, so hard to see any get question or anything else. Okay, so anybody have any question, laps, anything? I think um, then Mr. Hong Pham said uh, he was going to run some of the D lab for the student or no? Yes, he said tomorrow. Tomorrow. Be tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, so if anybody else have any question or any concern, please bring it up and we can help you. And Are they gonna go over the, uh, the, the quiz? What quiz? Okay. Go over the tap on Wednesday. Okay. Okay. Maybe I will check with you tomorrow, Sam. Um, I'm still working on my DLAP nine. Uh, I did it, but I did some stuff wrong, so I have to do it all over. Okay. But I'll let you know tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Good night. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah.